Hello everybody, uh, this video was like an idea me and Avon had to do. Avon, say hi. That's me, hi, hello. Yeah, we did some, we did like a tier list for every PZ3 plant for fun, like I think yesterday. And uh, yeah, we decided to do one for PVZ1, so uh, without further ado, let's get into this, yeah. Okay. So, you go first? Yeah, I'll go first, I'll go first. Pichder. I mean, I think everyone can agree, like the PVZ1 Pichder, it's yeah, literally mascot, one of the mascots. Mascot tier. Like, no doubt in mind. Sunflower too. Okay. Mascot is higher than Pichder, no doubt. I mean, Sunflower has her own, like music video let's be honest she is yeah. one of the mascots like clear okay cherry bomb i think cherry bomb might not be such a mascot like these two like if you were to take yeah, the mask yeah his pig design it it's like nothing more than a cherry and but it doesn't need to be you know the and the animation makes you like feel that it is a bomb and it's gonna explode it represents what it does pretty well so peak design yeah walnut mascot right. like these three this is the mascot three right here like every promotional yeah, artwork the... must have these guys somewhere the only thing i kind of hate about Walnut is that you know it kind of looks like a potato so low mascot here is pretty good that's all i can say yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd so say much. actually move Sunflower up in the mascot tier since, you know, Sunflower is like more recognizable than Pichu, I think. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, Potato Mine. I really like Potato Mine's design. Like, they really incorporated the mine, the like landmine aspect into it really well. And it's just a small and cute fellow. Animation helps too because of its like light thingy popping out of the ground and it's just good i think it's very good maybe even I like, design. It. I like it too but um for me the shape is kind of rough like at first glance it doesn't really look like a potato to me so i'd say like what very good or peak design that's all i'd say uh i'd say i'd say peak design because there are definitely Things that are worse than it, but not by far, you know. Snoopy, okay. Snoopy is just like Snoopy. Pichuder, not a mascot though. Like very it... good, it's fine for Snoopy. Yeah, the only thing I'd say are the crystals, like the ice crystals at the back. They look like ice, but they just—I think they could have done like something more, you know. Yeah. I'd it's see. not a mascot, but it's recognizable. You can tell what it does. Like, you, you can tell this shoots ice bees, right? Yeah. I'd say very good, honestly. Right. Chomper. Chomper. I think Chomper is okay as a design. Like, you get what it does with the gaping mouth, the teeth, the things and stuff. But at the same time... PVZ1 Chomper is pretty rough. Like, PZ2 yeah. had an attempt to make it better by making it taller and like changing it a bit. But I think the PVZ3 design actually isn't that bad and is actually better than the PVZ1 design. Like, honestly. honestly, I mean, for me, Chomper in PVZ1 is also kind of rough. I don't like it that much because it just looks like a gaping mouth on a stem. Uh, PVZ2 is a little bit better, but I think PVZ, PVZ3 actually did it best because that actually looks like a Venus flytrap. It looks like an, a huge Venus flytrap that can actually kill zombies. So I'd say go for okay. If I recall correctly, I think the PVZ1 Chomper was inspired by... Uh that movie like with the i forgot the name of it but it was something like a shop you know and it there was a big green plant that you know had a big gaping mouth and chumper i think was based on that but i'd nice. say i'd say he's okay yeah like not bad bad because there are like designs worse than chumper i think 
<laughs> from Grave Buster. <laughs> Even though they are not bad. Like you will get to Grave Buster, don't talk about him, cough cough. Yeah. Anyway, repeater. I think repeater is a pretty solid design. Yeah. I think it's on the same tier as Snoopy. It's a little bit worse because I think they could have done more with the being angry concepts because it's just eyebrows and leaves. That's what I think. I think PvZ2 actually made him a bit more like he made they made him stand out a bit more. Although they didn't change much from him, you know? Yeah, what I mean is that he doesn't really stand out much. This goes to every pea shooter really. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't stand out like a sore thumb, but they should also have their defining features. Exactly. Alright, these are all the day plans so far. Uh, we're moving on to the night levels. So Pop first shroom. off, Fashroom. I really love Fashroom. They had a rough time with it because it, the sprites needed to be small in-game, you know? Like, Puffroom is, like, small to signify that he doesn't have much range, he's, like, weak, you know? Even though, <laughs> you know, you can clear all of the night levels in PvZ1 only with only Puffroom, so he's not really weak. But I think yeah, he... his design is pretty solid for it, what it tries to be like. It sets the standard for the rest of the mushrooms, I think. Yeah, I set the standards for the rest of the mushroom plants. My only problem with it is that it's so small, you can barely see the detail. Like, for its eyes, it's just two fucking pupils. That's it. Very small pupils at that. Yeah, the... But I think it's good. Or very good. The, like, second pupil is, like, so small. His body, basically, his second pupil is, like, in, like, it's... It creates a tangent with the body outline, like right there, and the cap doesn't help it much either. Like, it's yeah. very uh, hard to notice. I'll leave it at this. It's a good base for the mushroom plants, but it's still, it still has its issues. Yeah. I think because it sets such a good standard for the mushrooms, I think either okay or good tier. Although, I... Yeah, let's go with good. Yeah, good is fine for it right now. If we add other plants, it'll maybe move down to, like, low good. But it's a pretty good plant, you know? Anyway, yeah. Sunshroom. The thing about Sunshroom for me... And it isn't the only mushroom with this uh, thing, you know? The highlight on its body right here, like on the stem like why is it so bright you know they're at night like their outlines are much bigger and much brighter than any of the day plants which is weird yeah, yeah. it it didn't make sense to me too because like some shrooms outlines always looked irregularly big than other plants yeah like it looked a bit too thick yeah i mean the Thickness is fine, because like, you know, it's a mushroom and it grows and stuff, like PVC2 really experimented with the, it may making the body more thick, you know. And by the way, tell, yeah. tell Fumeshroom about a thick ass, like, oh, uh, stab, Lord. you know. But I think Sunshroom is definitely, like, Good. it's a good design. I don't know if it's better than Puffshroom, though. Like... Uh, it's... L let's put it on lower than Puffshroom. I think... Like, they're on, on par, but I think Sunshroom is just a little bit worse. But that's not saying much. Yeah. At least it doesn't have, like, the same problem with the eyes as Puffshroom. Because it, instead of facing, like, towards the zombies, like most other plants, it's one of the only plants that like look right at the player like squash does that ice shroom does that even though you I don't see him much when you plan it i think all the sun producing plants do that like look at the the sunflower yeah the look sunflower, at the player the sunflower doesn't really do that though like you can see it's looking a bit in the zombies direction it's not yeah, straight it's at like, the screen 
It's just so slightly at the zombie side. Yeah. But yeah. I will regardless. Fium Shroom. Yeah, Fium Shroom. I might be biased. I really like Fium Shroom. Like, my favorite too. plants in PvZ1 must be Fium Shroom and Chomper. Even though Chomper's design is bad, I just liked him. Like, I don't know why I like him. He's just... Look at him, you know? But uh, Fium Shroom is a really solid design. I'd say even better than Puff Shroom, honestly. Like, it's for his me, big brother, kinda. For me, I like Fium Shroom because it, it represents uh, the concept so well. Like, from the namesake and the design, you can tell that this shoots out fumes. Fumes that can pierce to stuff. Exactly. And that's pretty good. I like, okay, well, I like what PvZ2 did, like, making... Uh, you know, when you use plant food on Fume Shroom, it has yeah, it a was... liquid in there, you know? That's very yeah. slightly visible. Like, I like... Yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't see that. I like the whole thing. I like Fume Shroom. I think it's better than Puff Shroom. Okay. Maybe very high good or just very good, like... Honestly, either of those is good. Honestly, Fume Shroom is better than the Snoopy and Repeater. Like, it's a more solid true, design. True, true. Oh god, Grave Buster. <laughs> now, this might be controversial. I think controversial. we agree on this. Like, this might be controversial. Grave Buster in PvZ1 is pretty bad. Mainly because it wasn't... Grave Buster is shit. Yeah, mainly because it wasn't even based on a like existing plant like from real life. PvZ2 tried to I... fix this, but I don't really like how they did it either. I don't know. <laughs> Grave Buster, I, if I remember correctly, is based on like dead wood or dead bark, whatever. It's based on a dead tree, which doesn't really fit with PvZ when you have uh, all these specific plant types. Like you have cactus, you have melon. It's not just a regular tree, alright? Yeah, I always found it weird that it isn't some kind of mushroom. Um... Yeah. It also breaks it the like... fucking symmetry. Like you have all these mushroom plants, then you have this thing. Yucky. I mean, tell that to pool. The like the pool levels only have seashroom and the rest of the plants. Well, magnesium yeah. too, but the rest of them, nah. Like they're everything but mushroom, which is fine. Like there are really, there are some kick-ass designs here. I think, although they are. Like the fog level plants, I think there are the most forgettable ones. But One anyway, one thing I will give the Rave Buster is that you can at least tell what it does. Like you can tell this grinds graves from uh, the namesake and the design with those teeth and eyes and stuff. Yeah, and not to mention the clipping from the body to the like teeth. That yeah. like the the line where the body stops in the teeth begin is so visible i'd say i That's wouldn't say it. ew just ew you know but very bad this might be just because we're like biased towards pvz1 because like you know it's the one that started the franchise blah 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 but i think actually no ew just ew is the good yeah one. Like, it's good for it like it's not being too harsh but at most it could take like low very bad tier i think yeah most people already dislike this guy which is you know yeah like i people... mean they have a point yeah people dislike walnut too because he looks like a potato i never saw like the potato resemblance you know it doesn't have the spots like potato mine does i, I think just... it's just the shape probably probably well, don't don't make me true. talk about like PvZ2, how they tried to do, like, make it look more like a walnut, and how they fucking killed Tallnut. He looks like a fish finger, for fuck's sake. He looks like a rectangle. Exactly. Anyway, uh, back on Hypnoshroom. I really like Hypnoshroom's aesthetic. Like, it really induces that... Uh, Drug, yeah, just drug. It's a drug reference, if you ask me. Like, psychedelic mushroom, it's just there, the pun, you know. But they couldn't mm. just tell kids, you know, you see drugs like in the plant game, no. But yeah, I think Hymnoshroom is a pretty solid design, it conveys what it does very well. 
and I like the eyes. It's the only plant in the yeah, game that has it's the only these plant. eyes. Yeah, the swirly eyes. I really like plants that like change the eye formula because most plants have the dotted eyes, like pishder, popshrooms. Yeah, eye. You know, eyes with pupils. It's usually like black uh, eyes with the white pupils, or the other way around. Yeah. Then you have plants with just pupils. Exactly. Well, regardless, for me, with hypno hypno shroom, I like it because it conveys what it does, but it's not too on the nose. Like you don't have this plant just snorting, I don't know, like acid or yeah. LSD. It's just there. Regardless, I think this one uh, could be below fume shroom. Like it's very good, but it's not above fume shroom. Yeah, I think it's definitely more interesting than like the repeater in Snoopy. Like it's definitely one of the good ones, you know. Scaredy Shroom. I feel bad for Scaredy Shroom in general. Like he tends to be forgotten so much, and le let's not mention PVZ too. Like they fucking massacred him. They massacred my boy. Yeah, but like I really like Scaredy. I actually really like him. I like how I like he goes him. into the ground too. Like. The scared eyes. Yeah, me too. One thing I Sorry. like is actually like um, the old elongated shape. Like they took puff shroom and made him elongated. You can see the puff shroom resemblance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... And that's one thing I like about it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely maybe below puff shroom. Yeah, that's fine. Like, it's more interesting than Puffshroom, but I think it's not better than it, you know? Or maybe... Yeah, me too, me too. Mm, nah, I think it's fine like this for now. Oh, Ice Shroom. Ice Shroom. It's such a shame you see him for, like, such a short while, honestly. Because his design kicks ass. Like, it's just... Like, I like what they did with the cap, even though it doesn't look like a mushroom yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's unique. You know? It's like... It doesn't... The cap doesn't look like a cap anymore. But it's Yeah, it fine. doesn't look like a mushroom cap. But it is fine, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, they got it just right. You can tell this would freeze zombies and stuff. Yeah, and the uh, eyes is actually like the ice crystals are actually really good here like better than snow peas i think yeah they actually made it better this time so i think um very good i think yeah very good very good above the pea shooters obviously yeah i think this is this might even be better than hypno shroom maybe 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 i mean i think hypno shroom is more unique like the yeah. cap and stuff. I it's like <sighs> Hypnoshroom is one of the plants that has the highlight issue though. And Ice Shroom, yeah, even though it, it has it too, like it works in its favor since you know it's ice, it's more glossy. But the mushroom that has the like most problem with the highlight, it's Doom Shroom. Like what? Why is it like this, you know, the highlight? I always thought it's too big. I don't know what they did. But like, Doomshroom is such like a badass design. He tries to be like, he's the emo one from the whole roster of plants. You what know? I like about it is that it kind of resembles a nuke. Like, you could tell this so would fucking nuke the zombies, basically. Like, it has that look to him, so yeah. to say. Yeah, it's just, like, he is more serious than most other plants. Like, yeah. Squash does this too, Gatling P does this too, even though he's more cartoony in a way, you know? Like, when, you, when you look at it, his, his color palette is actually very different from the mushrooms, but I think it just works. Like, yeah. works in his favor. The rest you know, of the very mushrooms... Dark and gloomy. Yeah, the rest of the mushrooms are, like, very colorful. Purple. Even Gloomshroom, too, you know? Like, not, yeah. not all of them are purple. Only 
three of them are purple. Well, four, including Gloomshun, but... Yeah, but they all have very, like, bright colors. Well, not bright, exactly. but very saturated. Yeah. He's a definitely, like, I think peak design, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It conveys the idea that. of a nuke and that shit gets real when you, like, put him down, you know? Yeah. It's funny that all of the, like, explosion instas so far have been put in peak design. Yeah, because they're peak. Yeah, so here's World 1 and World 2, like, both of them. So far, we're at, we've reached the pool plants. Yeah. We're halfway. Halfway there. Halfway there. So, little pet. Right. It's okay. It's just okay. Yeah, obviously. I mean, it's a lily pad. It's what I mean, it tells you it is. Lily pad is not meant to take, like, your attention, alright? You're just meant to plant it, then plant another plant on top of it. That would take the spotlight. Not yeah. the lily pad itself. Well, it's obviously doesn't have a lot of detail to it. Yeah, part, for it, the flower pot falls into the purpose. same category. Like, category. Category. What the fuck was the pronunciation? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. So I you. think... Go I actually ahead. think this could be a buff Shumper. Yeah. Like, it serves its purpose well. It's not meant to take up your attention. It was just meant to plant it. Honestly, I think Chomper should be above it because, you know, Chomper is... Yeah. You know, it's like more interesting than it. But that's the idea of, like, Lilypad. It's supposed not to be interesting, so it's like the best middle ground, you know? Yeah. Squash. I'd say Squash, squash? is a pig design, even maybe a mascot, as it's one of the few plants that actually has merchandise, like official PopCap merchandise. Like the Squash plush looks so good, I gotta admit it. Like it's the best. I plant. like Squash. For me, I love Squash, right? Yeah. I think he's definitely a big design, but he's not mascot tier. Like, he's not mascot tier, but his design portrays him so well. He's yeah. grumpy and ready to kill the zombies, you know? Well. So he has some weight to him. Yeah, like the shape so I think... really helps me, him. Like, I think yeah. top of peak design, honestly. Like, it's yeah, a really maybe. good design. Maybe. Really solid. Maybe Sherbomb couldn't be above him, but it's like, whatever. Mm. They're the same. Mm, yeah, they're kind of the same. Like, they would be on the same level, you know? But I think... Yeah. Do you think Doomshroom is actually more, like, better than Potato Mine? Honestly. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, Potato Mine should have been moved lower. I think, actually, Squash should be under Cherry Bomb. Yeah, I think that looks good. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Okay, well. Three Peter. Three Peter. I'll I... be honest, I never understood the deal with this. Yeah. Like, he looks so weird compared to the other pea shooting plants. Look at his heads. I mean, he probably looks more weird because instead of, you know, having the head and the mouth be kind of the same size, Rich exaggerated their mouths yeah. to, move, to make the head smaller. But I think... Like, the tangled uh, stems, too, doesn't help it much. Like, PZ2 actually did a good redesign on this yeah. one. Yeah. You know? Like, they actually made it look like the pea shooting plants rather than, I don't know, like an alien. Yeah, it looks like Dave forgot how to do the pea plants and was like, yeah, this looks like a pea plant. They have cross-breeded the pea shooting plants and this is what came out. I actually think it's bad, like a bad one. Yeah, it can be on a bad year. I wouldn't say I don't very like it bad. That much. I wouldn't say very bad because it's not that bad, but it's definitely like bad, you know. Yeah. Actually, no, very bad. Honestly, like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can move there. Yeah. Tangled kelp. I love PvZ1 tangled kelp. Like. Has, as you told me, like, the predator eyes really sell it, you know? It looks like it's 
a yeah. sneaky bastard waiting for the zombies, which would be its prey yeah, to like come, it's, and like he it's waiting him. for his prey to come over. Yeah, I really like how they did. Him. The only thing uh, that I don't like about this design is that I think I prefer the PVZ to tangle kelp that made the sleeves look more like seaweed. So it looks more like it's you know been in the sea. Yeah, this one looks more like some vines, you know. The spikes don't help it yeah. either. But they like I can see why Rich would have done this, like with the spikes. But at the same time, I prefer PVZ2 over this one because they actually look like yeah. kelp, you know, like a big bunch of kelp. So I think, I think he might be. Not well, not bad, but not good either. I think he's okay above Little Pat, maybe. Yeah, he be in middle okay. Yeah, Jalapeno. Jalapeno is, is it's peak. gotta be peak. like yeah, nah, it's peak yeah, but like you know, he's so simple, but it sells it well. Like the expression yeah, on it, it being so works. exaggerated. Like the shape looks like a pepper, like. From the start, you know this thing would burn a row. You yeah. know it would at least go. Yeah. Like, this guy seems so fucking mad and so pissed off. He would, like, do that. He, he is the type yeah. of guy to do that. Uh, I think above Pareto Mine, like, he has more going on than Pareto Mine. You know? I, I'm thinking about Cherry Bong being, like better than him like i think he would be better than cherry bomb like he sells the idea of him exploding more than yeah. it you know so maybe he's big instant design yeah yeah put maybe him at the top top top, top. Dude, it's so wonky this side how you move the plants anyway <laughs> spike right. weed i am i'll be honest i'm pretty torn about it because like it doesn't look like a weed at all. It's brown. Like, the PVZ2 tried to make it Yeah, PVZ2 actually fixed this. Yeah. It, it looks more like a weed by just making it green. Yeah, it, and it just looks more like a plant in general, you know? Yeah, this looks like a turd, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I think bad. Yeah, I, just bad. I also think... They got kind of lazy with this design. No, not the design, but the animation. Like, there's not that many parts to be moved around. It's just the main body that squishes and bobs. Then it has a an attack animation where the body just stretches up, then goes back to its original position. The thing Pretty is, lazy. the thing is, so, they actually made each spike. Like, most of the spikes are actually individual, like sprites themselves. Like. The big spikes, I think these four, one, two, three, four, are like different sprites from the rest of the body. But yeah, yeah the, the problem is the stretching doesn't help it, like the animation. Yeah. So I think it's not as bad as Three Peter, but it's certainly not as good as like Lily Pad, Trumper, and the works. Yeah, I think it's just bad. You know? Yeah. I think it's... Like, it's not recognizable. If I was to show, like, a newcomer uh, Spike with, they wouldn't know the essence of PVZ. While if I showed them, like, say, Sunflower, they would immediately know what PVZ is like, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, intermission. We're back. Yeah, moving on to uh, Torchwood. Torchwood here... Uh, You know, okay. it's pretty... Like, I like it. You know, it kind of sells it, but for a plant that does nothing but buff other plants, he looks maybe a bit too angry, you know? And I don't like the flames. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like the flames. They just look <laughs> out of place, you know? Yeah. Okay. In my opinion, I think Torchwood is like Grave Buster, like with the dead tree something, but they actually did it good. Yeah, I like, mean, he um, isn't... This actually works. Yeah, the difference between 
grave buster in him is that he isn't dead. Like, he's pretty alive. Yeah, he's still alive, he's just on Yeah, he's just on fire, you know? So, I think for Torchwood, it would be... I think... I don't know. Is it good or okay? Honestly. What do you I think? I think it's... I think it's I mean, good. it's above Tangle Kelp, to be honest. Yeah. I think above Chomper, too. I think a little good. Sure, sure. We can do it. A little good is good for it, like... It isn't yeah. just okay, because it has something going on, you know? Yeah, but like it relies on pea shooter and repeater and stuff, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, good, good, good is like the best one. Oh, um, yeah. Tallnut. Tallnut, it's just walnut, you know? But this guy actually looks like he's sturdy enough to hold off a bunch of zombies. Like, it fits. It just fits, in my opinion. I mean, for me, Tallnut is kind of just fine. <laughs> Like, the only problem I have with it is that it's a bit too round, so uh, he kind of looks like an egg, if you look at it close enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean... But other than that, it's a good design. Yeah. Maybe very good. If I think very good fits it. Did stop with the... Like, soundboard, please. Whoever's doing that. Anyway, uh, yeah, Talnut, I think it's... Should it be over the pea shooters? Do you think? Yeah, it should. Maybe, maybe above repeater only. Like I think Snoopy is actually better than Walnut, like a uh, Tall Nut. Sorry, like, it's it has, you know, I think it's more interesting than Tall Nut, because like Tall Nut is Walnut, but it doesn't have that recognizability to it, like Walnut does, you know. Yeah, I guess what you're getting at. Yeah. So, pool plants complete. Moving on to fog. Sea shroom. I like sea I'm shroom. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I like him. He is basically just water puff shroom, but, like, the eyes are actually good on him, you know? Like, he doesn't have the problem where he's so small, like, puff shroom. He is... Kind of an enhanced puff shroom in a way, but it it's for like me? you know. Um, for me, like his design is just okay. Um, his palette looks a little bit weird to me. Like, I don't know why, but it just looks a little bit weird. And his little tentacle things, I like those, like at the bottom, you know. Yeah, I think they are supposed to be yeah. it's like roots or something. Even though mushrooms yeah, don't really have what? them, you know. That doesn't make much sense. I think it's not bad, but it's not above Chan. I mean, Puff Shroom. Like, it's not above Puff Shroom by any means. I think it's just an okay design overall. Like, under or over Tangle Kelp? What mm, do you think? I think it's above Tangle Kelp, to be honest. Above Chumper 2? I'd say Chumper. I'd say Chumper is above it. Yeah, yeah. This this looks good. Plantern. I like Plantern. I'm not even gonna lie. I like him. Like, his design is pretty good. It's not really based on anything. Like, but you can tell it's a plant, you know? Yeah, it, it like, fuses the concept of, like... A plant and a lamp together. You can see it looks like a lamp with a stem. Like, even the name sells it, you know? Plantern. Plant Lantern. Like, it's yeah. it's not getting better than this. I'd say very good. Or maybe even Peak Design, you know? We can put it on Peak Design. Yeah, over... I'd say... I'd say low Peak Design. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's fine for it. Yeah, yeah. Next up, Cactus. Cactus is very recognizable. Although his design, yeah. I think, 
I think he has actually a pretty solid design. I mean, he's on the title screen for a reason, I think. You know? Yeah. It's also very inspired from its namesake, you know, Cactus. Like, little arm stubby thing. Yeah, it's, I mean... It looks very recognizable like a cactus. It is just a cactus at the end of the day. So, I think... Yeah. I think it's a low good design, you know? Low good. It was fine for it because it, it's not just okay it's more like it's good you know i feel like it would be a this like it would be unjust to put it like top okay i think low good is actually more fitting for it you know yeah that's fine uh blower uh blower it's blower it's okay like I think it's okay. I don't know. Maybe even bad. I mean, it shows its purpose well. That's it. Like you know, this would blow back zombies. That's like about it. You can also kill us a clover. That's you know, it's you know, it's gonna blow zombies. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like a fan. Let's be honest. It shows what it does well. I think it's top bad because it's not. Like, it's okay, but at the same time, I think it, you know, I think top bad. I, yeah, yeah, we can do that, we can do that. It's very forgettable. Okay, split me. Split me. Okay, on this one, I just want to say, I think the beta design for it was actually more interesting. Like, they had so many, like, it's such a missed opportunity. I understand why they cut back on it in like if in George fans eyes I understand I understand you know because it isn't supposed to be really interesting it's just a pea shooter that shoots backward you know but at the same time it's missed up it's a missed opportunity to make it like a mutant to be thing to be honest I never really liked this design I think it looks very weird, I can, I can see what they were going for with the twin heads, but like, at least center their heads, like put the stem on the center of the two heads. Hell, I think even a better idea was to put like two stems for each head, maybe yeah. even detach them, I don't know. Like make something like twin sunflower if you were to do it, although I think yeah. in this context it would have maybe looked off, but that's just because we're like used to this design. PvZ2 actually changed their perspective a bit and put the stem in the middle, which actually worked out yeah. in their favor. It looks better. There's no downside. Yeah. Uh, twin Sunflower is like an actually good twin plant design. I just don't like this. We can put it on very bad or bad. It's like nowhere near the P shooting plants. Do you think it would be above three Peter? Honestly. I mean, yes. Um, three Peter looks an alien, like like an alien, but so at least Spitzby, you can recognize as a pea shooter. Yeah, he still looks like a pea shooter. Like it's the pea shooter base, but with another head slapped on it. You know. Yeah. Next up, Starfruit. Starfruit, it's a solid design, honestly. I like a bit what they did with it in PZ2, although I think it, they changed it a bit too much and they removed like the eyes it had, like they changed its I eyes to be more generic, in my opinion. To be honest, I like the, the leaf thing they did for PZ2. I like the PZ2 design in general. I think this is just a bit too bare. Like it's just a five-pointed star with eyes and a mouth. This is as bland as it can get. Like yeah. there's absolutely no flavor to it. And I like how PZ2 added that orangish tint to the like tips yeah, of, it, of it. Like, even though that's not really how the real life fruit looks, it doesn't matter. It like enhances the design. This looks plain yeah. as you said. Yeah, it looks very plain. It's the bit it's like it's like the least you could do basically. I'd say so I think... bottom bad. Yeah, bottom bad is Actually, fine. Blower should be bottom bad and he would be middle 
bad. Yeah. I think Spike Weed actually has more going on than him, you know. <sighs> okay, Pumpkin. Pumpkin really, like, works. You know, it's the fact that they didn't just make a generic ass pumpkin and they gave it the, like, jack o' lantern face it really looks like. Cool. Yeah, they actually put effort into it. Like, they call, uh, gave it a court face and whatnot. It actually looks like you could store plants in there because of the back layer. Yeah, and it works, like, with the holes, too, because if you put, like, let's say a pop which, which isn't, like, taller than it, you can still see it inside there yeah, through, the see it through the holes. Yep. I think that's actually pretty cool. I think he would yeah, be it's top a very good, good design. or very good. Top good or very yeah, good? Yeah, low, very good. Low, low very good, good is good. Low, very good, yeah. This, I mean, is Repeater Baron in it? I think yes, honestly. Yeah, slightly, ever so slightly. Or actually, maybe we should... I think just because of the holes, I would move it up, like, maybe towards, like, the top of very good. Because, like, maybe those Maybe middle holes, very good. Middle very good, yeah. I think it's a very good middle ground, you know. Shrooms really dominated yeah. the top of very good because they have really solid designs after all. And speaking yeah. of shrooms, Magnet Shroom is next. And it's, I think it fits in the very good category. <laughs> like, with be honest. and the others. Mag I Magnet Shroom might be my favorite plant. Like, it's not a plant in particular, like a magnet isn't a plant, but I think it's they translated it so well to a shroom. Like yeah. it's simple, but it works. I like the beta design of it too. That's really cool, you know. Yeah, they toned down the mushroom aspect on this one for whatever reason. Yeah, but like, oh, yeah, he's a very solid design. I think, uh, yeah, actually, top of very good is fine. I think it's oh, sure, sure, yeah. very good. They, like the big ass cartoony magnet pulling everything metal, you know, it's it's funny, it works, it fits. Yeah, this is one of the few times where even if uh, the actual thing isn't a plant, it still works. It translates well into PVZ. Yeah, like Plantern too, it isn't an actual plant, you know. Yeah, it's but just it a lantern. works, it works. So. Fog oh, plants. Grave Buster. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, fog plants done. We are moving on to the last, like the last set of adventure plants. The roof, cabbage pulled. I think it's like okay, maybe bottom good too, because like it's a solid design. Like it build, it's a cabbage pulled. It's as it says, you know. I like what PVC2 did with it, like making the basket actual leaves, you know, rather than, you know, a basket, because it yeah. looks a bit out of place, if you ask me. I mean, honestly, Cabbage Pole just sets the standard for pole plants. Nothing more, nothing less. It's an introduction to how pole plants will look, and that's all. So yeah. I think it could be okay or even bad at worst. I think. I think top of okay. Sure, Honestly. sure. It's like a mid, a very mid design, but it works in its favor since it like sets the standard for the other two pulled plants in the game. Well, except yeah. winter melon, which is just a recolored melon pull, but we'll get to that. Um, flower pot. I mean, okay, obviously it's going with lily pad. Obviously. Yeah, obviously, but is it better than lily pad? If you ask me, I'd say no, because like the face isn't that noticeable, you know, which is fine as it doesn't try to take the spotlight from other plants. But I think Lilliped is like it portrays the fact that it's so tired from this more the like tires the, of life. Yeah, pot is just, you know, happy, a bit like jolly. It's a you can't even Are really you... see the face, you know. Yeah, like, 
it doesn't even have that much personality, it's just a jolly face. I think it would be funnier if the face was actually in the soil, then it would be better than Lilypad for sure. Yeah, yeah, if the face was in the soil, that would have been funny, honestly. Like, it would yeah. have been fuller. But yeah, I think it's a mid plan, like, low, okay, it fits for it, you know? Like, nothing yeah. too special. Colonel Pult. Okay, I think yeah. Colonel Pult is actually, like, better than Cabbage. Yeah, that's what I think. His almanac can really helps him. Like, he can see, like, everything about it. The fact that he does low damage and, like, um, sometimes shoots bar to stun the zombies. Like, that would have me, like, pissing myself, like, doing shit damage to the zombies and relying on others. Because, you know... How can you defend yourself? I would be scared of the zombies. Like, the, I like the emotion he's showing. Honestly, for me, I look at it this way. Um, Cabbage Pult introduced the Pult formula for Pult plants, and Colonel Pult actually upgraded it and gave it personality. Because Colonel Pult is timid, it's actually scared, while Cabbage Pult is like, mostly neutral. It's a bit confident. But that's it. It doesn't really have much personality. Just shoots the zombies. But Colonel Pult is scared of the zombies. You can even see it in his like gameplay stats. He does low damage. Sometimes he throws the butter. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I like Colonel Pult. I think he is better than Cactus, honestly. But yeah, is maybe he better, even better than Torchwood? Than Torchwood. Yeah. I think he is better than Torchwood. Like, you can see. His full of personality. I like Colonel Pool too. He's he's one of my favorites. He's gotta be one of my favorites. Like yeah, and I think like the shape of the corn, like they chose the top of it. It works really really well. Like it transitions into the stem that actually is used to shoot really well. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, coffee bean. First of all. I'm gonna say the obvious. It doesn't really look like coffee bean. Yeah, like, it doesn't have the texture. And the leaf. Why is the leaf there? You know? Like the stuff I, I see... I think it was trying to make it like, look like a plant more, but it doesn't really work. It originally had like wings to like angel wings, which I think it would have been like, Very a bit too much. When... But it would have worked, yeah, because it was cartoonish, and PvZ1 is very cartoonish in a way. I think, like, it having that leaf really irks me, because I what I see in most PvZ1 art is that pe when people draw beans of any kind, they feel the need to add the leaf. I don't know why, they just do. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. There's not a single bean. Exactly. Uh, I, I think, think... Goblin in general is like very plain. Um, we could put it on top of bad, maybe even okay tier. I think it would be overblower. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that could work. I think this fits for it. Like it's a, it's a utility plant at the end of the day. It's not meant to be very interesting. Like utility plant. Yeah, situation. You know. You use it just to wake up your mushrooms. It fucking disintegrates before your eyes, you know? It's fine. Yeah. You know? Garlic. I like garlic. That the expression. He's just so goofy, if you ask me. Yeah. Too bad you know he... what? I like... I like... What I like the most is actually, like, the stench effects on the top. Like, that was such a nice addition. And it, re it actually represents how stinky it is. Like, yeah. you can tell from the stench effect that zombies would, like, bite him, then move to another lane, or something along those lines. Like, you it's know. very obvious from his design. Yeah, they wouldn't, they would definitely not like eating him, because yuck, who eats garlic raw, you know? But, yeah, and the, the tough skin too. yeah, and the expression it has really helps with the, like, whole stinky vibe it has yeah. going on, you know? He's a very stinky guy. I think... Yeah, good. 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 He's good. a good plant. Uh, under... 
Mm, okay. I wouldn't put it like low good. Maybe over cactus. Ma maybe over torchwood, even. Yeah, I, he really sells it. It's like a uh, Colonel, like Colonel Pool, really shows the emotion, you know, but not as much as Colonel yeah. Pool. Okay. Okay, umbrella leaf. Umbrella leaf. It's just a very plain design. I mean, yeah, what can you say? Yeah, it's very plain. You know? It's very bland, like, there's actually no expression here, it's just eyes. There's barely any personality. Yeah, it doesn't have... It doesn't actually have any personality, like, it doesn't have a mouth. I like what, uh, like, PvZ treated for it, and PvZ Heroes too, because I think that's where the first retake on it was. Like, adding the daisy at the center of the leaves, like, instead of just having this, yeah. whatever this is trying to be, you know? Yeah, they just meet at one point, which is kind of disorienting. They, they just made it more of an umbrella, you know? Like, it's an upgrade in my yeah. opinion. So, I think uh, this design in particular is like, what? Middle B? Low B? I don't know. Maybe even very bad. Like, high very bad, maybe? I think high very bad. Like, it's a very forgettable plant. It, it's just a, n another utility plant, you know? More people remember Coffee Bean than yeah. the Umbrella Leaf, you know? And you don't even use it that much. You use it just for bungees and catapult zombies. That's it. You no. Know? I think it's bad. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Marigold. Initially, Rich grew Marigold. For it to become the sunflower so it's kind of like instantly you have some sympathy for it like because it's the it's yeah, sunflower's it's like, cousin in a way you know it's like the rejected child even yeah they just repurposed her to be you know the sun producer but i mean she has only her all thing I... going on definitely all in all, I think she's definitely inferior to Sunflower. Like, she's not as recognizable. Yeah, he, she's n in no way as recognizable as Sunflower. Like, uh, yeah, Sunflower like, this is wouldn't the be a face. mascot. Like, she's the face of PvZ. Like, she and Peashooter are, like, the... It, they are the combo that just makes PvZ what it is. Like, the trio yeah. of mascots is... It just producer, attacker, wall. Like the most generic thing, the base for everything there is. You know? Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. The, I think Marigold could go like, well, okay, maybe even bad. At the most, it could go good. That's what I know. I'd say, I'd say middle of bad. And I was yeah, thinking about it. Should we move three Peter to EU? Just EU? Like, I really don't like how PvZ1 did three Peter. Not three Peter. Honestly, at this point, we can move either the three Peter or split P to EU, just EU. Like, one of those. I think split P is I actually think they're like better equally than three Peter. Like, slightly yeah, three better. Peter. He's just yeah, I think three is slightly worse. You can move him there. Yeah, Grave Buster is still like the worst one of them all by far. You know. Yeah. Uh, Melonpult. Melonpult is okay, like I'm not... recognizable, I think. Like to he... be honest, you know he is from PvZ when you see him. I'll be, I'll be honest. I think this melon bolt took the formula of bolt plants. Like you see how Colonel Bolt gave its personality to the formula. I think melon bolt just takes it does nothing with it. Just makes it into a melon. That's what I don't like about it. Like it doesn't have as much personality as you'd expect it to be, right? I'd just, say. Yeah. I'd say he's better than cabbage bolt. It's very though. similar to the cabbage bolt. Yeah, he's slightly better. Slightly better. He's better, they like, go... because he's, like, stronger, too, you know? Yeah, they at least got the melon sheep right. Like, you can recognize this as a melon. Yeah, I think I think he's above Cabbage Bolt. I think that fits for him. You know? 
Uh, yeah, the roof plants are done. We have eight more to go, and they are the shop plants. Everyone's favorite. Like, these guys are like, you know, the evolved version of, of most of the yeah. existing plants, you know. Gatlin P, uh, honestly, I think it was the P shooter variant should be like, like it's distinct enough, but you can still recognize it's a P shooter at the end of the day. Yeah. The he... Gatlin helmet and the things under his eyes, like the eye markings, really help sell yeah, how powerful it is. The eye markings, like, really sell the war veteran vibe, like, more than Repeater does. It's just the cooler Repeater. I think, I think it's above Ice Room. Honestly. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. Like, here, I think it fits best. Like, it's a very good design. It, even maybe Peak, actually. Like, it's really good. Maybe. You know? Yes, what the shooter variants should have been. Like, it's uh, different, but uh, it's like distinct and different, but still recognizable enough. Yeah, it's an actually good P shooter variant. Like, the first Let's one go. and the only one in the game. So I think it would go maybe under Doomshroom. I think it fits. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, well, Twin Sunflower. Twin Sunflower really did the, like, you know, just oh. a plant that takes less space. Like, it's just two sunflowers at the end of the day. It really does what it's supposed yeah, to it's good. Kind of a repeater for the sunflower, the sun producing plants. Yeah. Like, I think... In the design uh, in the design perspective, I think it's like the first that was this twin plant thing actually good. Like, yeah. until this is two sunflowers, it's, it's not like a, a hybrid or something. It's like better... There are two sunflowers on one day. Yeah, it's better, like, split pea, definitely. You know? Like, I think, I think Twin Sunflower should be, should be, should it be an okay or good? I think good fits for it, because it's like, it I does what it it's supposed in, to. Yeah, I think it can be in low good. Yeah, low good, uh, above Cactus, I think. Torchwood yeah, is yeah, that's fine. what I was thinking. Like, actually, do you think Cactus is better than Torchwood? Because I'm thinking about switching mm. them around, like, Cactus should be uh, here and Torchwood here. I think that. I mean, I don't know, actually. Like, a Cactus isn't that good. I think Torchwood is just a little bit better. Then like this, maybe. I think this is like better. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Okay, Gloomshroom, peak design. You can't tell me it isn't. It just it's so goofy and you know already what it does. Like it looks like PM Shroom because it's an upgrade of it. Even though it loses the spots kinda. But you can see it has a barrel on each side. You know already what it's gonna do. It's gonna shoot in all sides. Doom you know? Shroom looks stoned. It's obviously a big design. Yeah. Like the expression is so funny. I don't the only downside is that I actually don't know what it's supposed to be but um from a design perspective you can already tell what this is gonna do it's gonna shoot zombies in a three by three area signified yeah. by its by its holes yeah like the 360 degrees thing really works for yeah. it and i actually think Glo gloom Shroom is supposed to be like one of the plants that isn't based on anything like like gr grave buster <laughs> it's like grave buster but actually good you know i think top of yeah. the design maybe or under jalapeno it could be but it, it could, could be, be middle big. design middle mm, i think it's better than squash maybe yeah maybe better than squash but just but not, like, better but than a little bit. yeah i think that fits for him he's a very very good design like just look at him. He looks so goofy, you know? Yeah. Cattail. Cattail has to be one of the good designs, too. Like, it's a very good plant, very recognizable. Like, I you know? I think Wish nailed it. 
like this is the first time we see like a cat oriented design and Rish actually nailed it. Like I can tell from the start this is cat to tell, alright? It's recognizable. Yeah, I mean oh. it's just one of the it, I think it's actually yeah, it's the single one, like the single plant based on an animal here. Well if if you don't yeah. can Champer, because some people portray Champer as being kind of a like a dog, you know. But I think Cattail really is an animal fused with a plant, and it works it's like a, its name. Yeah, you know, it's animal and plant that actually works together. Like yeah. you have the cat part, then the tail part. I like how they incorporated it. Yeah, I like how they actually made it. The tail is the cat tail, you know, the actual plant, and yeah. that's what it uses to shoot too, you know. The head is the cat part. Yeah, the head is basically its body, kinda, with the leaves being its yeah. like feet and appendages, and the tail is just the main focus, maybe. Like, the main focus is the head, obviously, but when you look at it, you see it's an attacker by the tail, you know? Yeah, also, an interesting thing is that this plant was based on Laura Shigihara, like, I don't know how exactly they came up with it, but I know it's based on Laura. Yeah, it is. is pretty cool. You can see that because at the end of the Soundflower, like, music video, when the credits, yeah, like, the full credits icon. show up, the cat tail is next to Laura Shigihara's name. I think it was based on her cat, maybe. But don't quote me on that. I didn't read up on I don't know if Laura even had a cat. It's whatever. She I does, think this is a good example. Laura does seem like the kind of... Like, she seems like the kind of woman to have a cat, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I think either top of very good or maybe even peak. I know? think um, it's below Magnet Room, no less. Yeah, yeah, this is fine for it, you know? Okay, uh, let's go, five plants left. Yeah, Winter Melon, it's just more interesting Melon Pult. Maybe, like, yeah. bottom good or top okay. I think bottom good, since it has more going on with the basket being frozen and all. The thing I like is that, like, the actual stalk, like, the stalk, they did, is, um, it goes from frozen to normal. And I also like how the basket is just a frozen ice cap. Like, yeah. that's unique. Yeah. The fact that it, like, the very subtle transition of the stock is good. But I think it should have been done for both ways. Like, the part that connects the head and then transition yeah. back to, like, bluish for the, where it connects. But it's good. That might be just a nitpick, you know? Uh, yeah, I think, I think bottom good fits for winter melon like it's good you know anyway uh gold magnet i'd say bad like it's not yeah it's such a mid design it falls into bad you hmm. know compared to Go magnet room this doesn't even look close like i don't know what this is supposed to be they made the magnet wider for some reason yeah that's weird but at the same time you know it's the most forgettable plant in the game i also, think for some reason they also removed the mushroom base like it's more into a plant one i don't like that well that's the thing like, a gold magnet isn't a shroom like it evolves from a shroom and becomes a non-shroom which doesn't really make sense if you ask me it should yeah, have been it, like that a mushroom. happens with any upgrade yeah I think top of bad fits it. Cause yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, spike rock, cooler spike with not okay. I'd yeah, say that's good. All. I'd say good for it. Yeah, I like how they made this more into you know rock rather than being a weed. Like it's not really a plant anymore, but I think it works in its favor because it shows how stronger than it is than you know regular yeah spike weed. i'd say it looks more like metal but at the same time mellow weed like metal weed wouldn't really be a yeah. very good name so 
I think Spike Rock, like Spike Metal, it's a bad name, you know. But yeah, Spike Rock, it's a very good one. Maybe even better than yeah. Winter Melon, you know. But yeah, yeah, that's fine as well. He is just an upgrade to Spike Weed in every way, you know. Uh, but yeah. Okay, Cop Cannon. Cop Cannon. I mean, it has to be pig design. Honestly, like, it's very I creative. I like Cop Cannon. I like, I like how they incorporate incorporated oh my god i can't speak they incorporated the like you know catapult design no not the catapult the, like, i mean like horn. the pulley thing you know yeah the, the kind horn. of a tank and like like they incorporated that into like a cob they also had the stalk i like that yeah they added like leaves to the corn you know that's really like really yeah, good like... you know if you look closely, you can recognize it's like a, an actual corn cob. And the fact that like, the wheels are like cut up pieces of a corn, like yeah, that's really good. I never good. noticed that, but it's so obvious. It's actually so good. I this think has to be peak design or top, very good. Top of peak design, honestly. It's just yeah. the embodiment of what a plant should be. It's just very okay, unique last in every... One way because it's the yeah. last and most it's powerful plant you get you know yes yeah, the plant you use for endless primarily yeah imitator i think imitator is good too like the whole mimus aesthetic and the fact that it mimics other plants that's really like a creative thing yeah and him being in war i think they portray that well in his design like yeah. he just looks like an old war veteran yeah, making him gray. The fact that he's in black and white too. Yeah, the fact that he's in black and white really sells it. So you know, clever. Both the mime aspect and the war veteran aspect, they both work, you know. And the fact that when he mimics plants, they turn black and white too. That's black a cool touch, touch. You know? Yeah. I think... Like, his... one thing I like about this is that they could have just left it at, you know, at, you know, being, like, he mimics plants and they're normal, but they actually went the extra step of making them black and white. That's a pretty good choice. It's kind of like I a ditto. I think this would be peak design or very good. It's kind of like a ditto from Pokemon, you know? Kind of the same vibe it gives me, you know? But this yeah. one is actually, like, has a personality than just being a blob with a face. So I, I think, think this could be either good a good or very pumpkin, good. Maybe? Uh I think yeah. Maybe maybe sure. under cattail. I think it fits. Sure, here. sure, sure. Yeah, I think this is like the definitive like of course this is our opinion. If you guys want to make Objective. one of your own, you can make it. Uh I could provide the link but to set this up like, it was a bit weird, so we'll maybe figure it out and put a link in the description. Right, I think um, this is our ranking. Do we want to change anything? I honestly don't think I want to change anything, but put Hypnoshroom above Fume Shroom. I sure, think that's sure. the only we can thing do that. I want to do. Like, I think everything else is pretty balanced. You know? Maybe, maybe move Me Gold too. Magnet to, like lower like bottom bed because it's forgettable but that's the only thing me too yeah i think this is like the definitive one for me at least you know yeah, yeah this is fine for me too i don't see any problem yeah i hope everyone that watches this enjoyed and uh yeah have a good one